Good morning. It's the day after Christmas, Boxing Day, I think you call it. And I am going, you guessed it, to get a coffee. I'm gonna meet my little cousin, the girl that you met in London. She always likes to be on camera, so. I am wearing my sunglasses for the first time in about two weeks. And you cannot believe how much I miss them. It was open, thank goodness, because this is the only cappuccino I like over here. Today I got it with caffeine. I hope it doesn't jumpstart my anxiety attacks. Every year I turn a little bit more into a Woody Allen comedy. And it's very, very hot. I'll say one thing about London coffee. It's always kind of lukewarm. Okay, I've been sufficiently spoiled with my sunglasses. I can't take them anymore, my nose hurts. I'm using these Charlotte Tilbury mini brushes, which if they're still available, they're amazing. If you're looking for a travel set, it's so beautiful. They're really, really good. And this is one of my favorite brushes. And then it has a smudger. It has everything you need because it has these round eye brushes, which are the best. And then it has a couple of mask smudgers, a blushy one, which is small enough for powder. I actually prefer a concentrated application of powder or blush and a really little smudgy one for like eyeliner. So I'm just doing a bit of, a, just giving a bit of shape because I need to take a photograph for my ID card. Um, I put some brows as well with my hourglass pencil. Doesn't really matter if it's a bit crazy. I mean, the state of this mirror, I can't see anything. This mascara is amazing. This is the long wearing Clinique one, the one that's a tubing mascara. It takes forever to take it off though. I don't know how people say that it's so easy to take off tube mascaras. I find them the hardest. I have to be rubbing my lashes until it comes out, even with warm water. I guess better with warm water, but I'm just used to mascaras like Ar the Armani one. It comes off straight away with my Lizard Hot Cloth Cleanser. I guess there's other mascaras that are harder, but I always avoid the ones that are harder. But this one I just love because it doesn't move, even if you cry. I've gone off overlining my lips for now, and I'm kind of. I don't know, I'm kind of underlining it now. The more people have plastic surgery, the more I appreciate being different because I'm gonna look more and more different as time goes by, not just because of wrinkles and distortions on my face, but because everybody's gonna look the same. So I am gonna look special and that is a good thing. You know, usually I would be doing my makeup like this, I'll show you. Like that, so you can actually see something. Uh, I can't do anything about my nose, because I can't touch it, so we are just gonna wing it. Do you guys do stuff to your ears? I feel like we never talk about the ears. And because we don't talk about it, my ears, it's like they don't exist. I don't do anything to them. You know when people lick your ears? I don't like that. I prefer them to like other places, like, you know, anything, like my neck or... I don't like people biting my ears. Wow, so fucking spectacular. After all these days of not wearing any makeup, I feel like I'm a sex goddess right now. I'll bet anything that it's my mom. Who is that? I'm gonna put more powder, probably later. Hey everybody, you know how I said we would be meeting my little cousin? Well, she didn't come and my sister didn't want to come meet me either. This is what happens, I come to Spain, nobody wants to see me. So I came to have my ID done and my mug shot is incredible. I had a woman take a picture, she despised me. I look unrecognizable.
I just texted my friend to say happy Boxing Day to us boxers because he's an ex-boxer. He used to be a very successful boxer and I evidently I am an ex-boxer as well. You can tell by my beret. This noise, like it needs attention. This thing is like a Tamagotchi even. Guys, let's see if you spot my little cousin. We're doing a vlog. She's like a model, I have so much fun with her. Please let's take a moment of appreciation for my cousin's outfit of the day. And she just showed me that she just found this t-shirt from the 80s. I love Casharelle, everything is just fantastic. It's awesome. Awesome, we just ordered this cappuccino. Tonight we're going to sleep in this bedroom. I much prefer the poster here. And this bedroom is turquoise, which I chose the colors of all the bedrooms, really. And we're having a cup of white tea with orange. But now we're gonna go downstairs because we prefer that bathroom. So we're gonna go to the bathroom downstairs, even though this bathroom is beautiful. Good morning. I sent my little cousin to get a coffee and she didn't find the coffee place. We had the strangest night ever because I'm pretty sure that that room upstairs is haunted. I booked a massage so they could look at my neck. I had the best neck massage. I really needed it. What a glorious day. Look at this beauty, with copious amounts of chocolate. Attention please, I have a life hack. If you or anyone you know is a small girl, look what I did, I ordered these jeans, which are actually cropped, flared, and you don't have to shorten them at all. I love these jeans, they're from Made in Heaven and I got them in the sales. Good morning. Today I slept in my pink bedroom and there were no spirits, so I think they heard me. I kind of put my foot down last night and told them I needed to be respected. I don't want their low vibrations next to me. Spirits have really low vibrations. I'm such a loser. I didn't realize I don't have to be on my front door. I have a balcony here with sun, so I'm gonna come here to the balcony. I'm gonna get a chair. Do you like my outfit? I'm wearing a lipstick called Famous Red. I like it. I went to see my grandma who's a bit poorly and I did her one of my healing sessions. I think she's feeling a bit better. And I went to get my neck checked and I did some edits and now I'm back, second coffee of the day and I'm gonna do some yoga. This is my outfit of the day. And this is the most difficult place to take an outfit of the day video, but here we are. Ambition above everything. This is my Giorgio Armani skirt, which you can tell by the wrinkles. I haven't gotten it out of the box in maybe 10 years. Uh, these are Stuart Waits man. I like them. I don't wear them enough. I guess I just never liked them with jeans. And I didn't used to wear skirts that much, but now I'm wearing skirts more. I'm listening to the podcast by Daisy Lowe called Fungus. I feel like a lot of these things about women for women, they just talk about themselves and about how you want to make women feel good and how you feel good and how you confidence is in a very superficial way and they don't actually get to the point ever so that's why when i produce stuff i like to start from the first paragraph this is an idea that i'm putting through this is my idea information bullet points here i feel like yes it's women talking with one another which is fine but i think that maybe we're going on the right direction because we're talking about ourselves but now we need to think of what to say oh my god i have oranges they're actually ready to pick. 
it's a real shame that I don't like oranges. I'm glued to the Agent Provocateur website most of the time because they have the sale. Yeah. Uh -huh.